channel is Pluto of Pluto's Muse. This is going to be another timeless general collective reading. Whenever you see this is when you need to hear it most. I hope everybody's doing well when you see this reading. Let me move my teacup. <laughs> Some of you guys should be drinking tea or you're being encouraged to drink tea. I was about to go straight into the book. Listen. <laughs> Before we get into the reading, um, thank you so much for everybody that is watching, that um, has been watching in general. I appreciate you guys. Uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this reading. If it resonates with you, turn on your notification bells. I also just lotion my hands. Somebody might need to lotion their hands. All right. Um, I don't know why. Because <laughs> you're going to be shaking hands with people soon. All right. Maybe you're going to be shaking hands with... Uh, what do you call it? Women, children, and babies, or babies are children. <laughs> Somebody in here could be into politics, politicians. Um, maybe that's something that you'll do in the future. Maybe you don't know about this. Hopefully, I don't tap into that. I don't know why that's like a thing recently for me. Um, <laughs> I don't even want to be in that energy. I'm trying to pull away from that energy, but um, maybe it's significant because it's election year. Who knows? But this reading, again, is going to be a general collective reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Let's see what comes up for you guys. We're going to use this positive thinking book again because I love these messages. All right, messages for the collective in this reading. For some reason, I'm hearing You Never Visit Me by Masego, all right? I also didn't know recently, somebody said that, uh, I guess Masego is, um, straight edge, which is super cute, <laughs> super cute. So some of you guys are sober, right? You're sober right now. You don't have to be no judge if you aren't, but I'm getting somebody watching this. You could be someone that does not drink, does not smoke or do any other type of drugs, anything like that. I as well am completely sober. All right. Um, I do, well, I used to, <laughs> I don't do it right now, but I used to, you know, uh, drink like for recreational purposes or, you know, party with the people, <laughs> a party with the people. Uh, I'm a party animal low key. Like, I'm not going to lie. I love to party or I at least like to be around people um, when the time is right. But most days I'm meditating. Most days I'm to myself um, or doing things that you know, help me with my overall well-being. So some of you guys are in that same space as well, maybe diving into your passions. I'm getting somebody reads books, all right? Some of you guys could do hair, is what I'm hearing. Somebody in here could paint. Somebody in here is um, into cooking. Somebody in here is um athletic you're into going to the gym you work out things like that somebody in here likes to watch movies you got your shows whatever it is all right but i'm getting somebody whoever i'm talking to somebody specifically in here is like very sober that's what i'm getting sober of mind all right like you know what's going on okay somebody needs to know that like you know what's going on Messages for the collective in this reading. <clears throat> All right. Wow. Nothing on it, just July. All right. So somebody in here could be born in July or July will be significant for you. So, yeah, Masego, you never visit me, though. He's just like, you never visit me. You never visit me. <laughs> you never come and see you never visit me so somebody might be wondering where you are or this is you you're like you never visit me there's somebody you're reaching out to or you're thinking about you're like you never come see me messages for the collective in this reading let's do this you have august 5th and august 6th it says Page 150 and 151. I'll put 151 as the angel number on the screen. It says, stay open to the magic of life. Life is not boring unless you allow it to be. There is magic everywhere. From the sidewalk rainbow after a rainstorm to the casual run-in with a long-lost friend. Look at this! To a smile received from a perfect stranger. 
Notice how often you hear from someone you've been thinking about or how you find just the right words to say in the moment you need them most. This is magic. I'm sorry. This is so funny to me. Do you guys not think it's hilarious when when stuff like this happens? Because I feel like it just makes it even, even, I don't know. This is so funny. Anyway, let's keep reading because I'll crack it up. Notice how often you hear from someone you've been thinking about or how you find just the right words to say in the moment you need them most. This is magic that can easily be missed, right? We're all so magical. Practice noticing it. Keep your heart and your eyes open wide enough to appreciate the synchronicities and magic around you. All right, angel numbers. It's actually 1122 on the time right now. Somebody could be born on November 22nd. All right, you don't have to. Or somebody's born on February 2nd of 2011. Maybe somebody has a kid born February 2nd, 2011. I don't know. We also have August 6th. You are not broken. You do not need to be fixed, nor do you need to become someone else's version of perfection. You are a human being experiencing the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Accept that you are not damaged. You will sometimes feel broken and sometimes feel more together than you have ever dreamed possible. But either way, you are an extraordinarily complete person, strong, vulnerable, and alive. You, my dear, are not broken. You are exceptionally human. Ooh, you are not broken. You are exceptionally human. Okay, you're human. (laughs) We are all humans having, or spirits, I'm sorry, having a very human experience. That's what I'm saying. Like, I heard the Masego was straight edge, and I thought it was cute because that's just, you know, that's cute. (laughs) That's cute to me. Um, But at the same time, I feel like it's actually very attractive to have some level of discipline. But that's in in any area of life, right? To be disciplined is very attractive. Um, So regardless of whether you are somebody that does indulge in things like that don't judge yourself you know it is what it is people have a glass of wine every now and then or you know something to smoke on (laughs) something to smoke on somebody somebody is doing whatever they're doing and that is I mean again it is what it is it's people's personal preferences but um I also find it very interesting when you see the things that people choose to discipline themselves on. So again, whether it's a workout regimen, uh, beauty routine, diet, um, studying, right? Um, work schedules, things like that. I try to be a little bit more disciplined by starting my own schedule. Um, but (laughs) <laughs> I'm also very uh, erratic. Like I'll try to do things. I, I'm not really erratic. I wouldn't say that. I'm more so like um, I'm real intuitive. So when I intuitively feel pulled to do something, I do it around that time or whatever it is. And yes, sometimes that can get um, a little bit chaotic. However, um There's also other things that I'm very disciplined on. So I feel like a lot of people in here, if you don't have a routine of some sort, or if you don't have things that you are disciplined in that you really stick to, I highly recommend you get into it. All right. But yeah, with those messages, how crazy is that? That that message came up about seeing a friend. So some of you guys are going to see a long time friend, a long lost friend. All right. Are you going to connect with someone? Maybe you are going to visit someone. This could be somebody at a distance, short distance, long distance, whatever it is. All right. I'm going to use my divination of the ancients oracle deck to see where this message goes. I hope it's a positive message. Also, I feel like somebody wants to know what lotion I was using. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Why I feel like that's relevant. I was using frosted. Let me grab it, actually. I was using frosted coconut snowball ultimate hydration body cream. It smells really good. It actually isn't too coconutty. All right. Somebody in here might like coconuts. Somebody could be from an island. You don't have to be. Um, frosted coconut though, it's giving Sag or Capricorn Christmas. Somebody likes Christmas. Okay. Messages. Somebody likes the colors blue and gold. What's blue and gold? What's the team for blue and gold? Is there a team? I want to say Denver, but I feel like I'm wrong. Blue and gold. Let me look it up. Actually, the teams that have blue and gold. 
is the San Diego Chargers football, the St. Louis Rams football, not soccer football, 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 American football, Golden State Warriors basketball. All right. So somebody could be from Golden State. <laughs> um, Indiana Pacers. All right. Somebody could be into basketball or football. And then you have the Denver Nuggets. That's what I'm saying. Somebody likes royal blue and gold. So somebody could be from Denver, San Diego, um, St. Louis, Indiana, or what's the Golden State? <laughs> what's the Golden State? Hold on. Don't judge me. Oh, damn, don't judge me. The Golden State is San Francisco, California. So somebody could be, from, could be from Cali. Somebody could be from Cali. All right. Don't judge me. And I know y'all really good. Like, somebody in here is going to judge me. I'm not heavy into sports, y'all. Let's see. Oh, this was a lot of cards. I ain't taking it, though. We got spells, crystal ball, coins. I don't want to take all these, but somebody in here, if you're watching and you're an uh, athlete, or if you're dealing with an athlete, there's something here about somebody being predicted some sort of success in uh, a field of work. Some of you guys are going to have success in sports. All right. If you are an athlete, if any of those teams resonate for you, somebody may or you might know somebody on those teams. Somebody's going to have success in sports. All right. I'm hearing sports medicine. Somebody may be going to college for sports medicine. Also, gold and blue may be the colors of a college. All right. Somebody's college could have those colors or high school. I don't know. Messages for the collective in this reading. You have dice, gamble. Mm. Somebody's going to take a risk. Bottom of the deck, you have feathers, message. Your guides are telling you to take a risk. Some of you have seen feathers recently. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to take both because they both have this imagery here of like, I can't even get it. They both have this imagery here of like dice and things falling from the sky. All right. That may be relevant. Something's falling from the sky. Chicken little. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Okay. It could be raining where you are. It could be snowing where you are. Because technically that would be sky falling, right? Now I'm hearing that song by Adele that is Skyfall from the James Bond movie. All right, somebody likes James Bond. We have 46 and 47. Somebody in here could be 46 or 47. It says Dice Gamble. Should you stay or should you go? This is what you've been wondering of late. You want to throw in the towel. It's giving sports. You want to throw in the towel. But if you do, are you running away from your responsibilities? Perhaps you should persevere and carry on. It might get better. But what if it doesn't? If a situation is not serving you as it should, if you are not being appreciated, then surely it is time to leave. However, as you have put in so much time and energy, it may be a mistake to leave before you reap the rewards. You can stay in the warmth of your current comfort zone or gamble it all away on a leap into the unknown, which might eventually lead you to adventures that will fulfill your soul's dreams and desires. Only you can decide whether or not to take a risk. Time to roll the dice. The incantation of this card says, if I leave, the stakes are high, a chance to live, to soar and fly. And if I stay, what would I do to what I know I would be true? The other divinatory meanings of this card says gamblers anonymous can help recovery from a gambling addiction. Somebody in here has a gambling addiction. I don't know who that is. All right. You have time to take a risk. Recognize which of your strengths or weaknesses support a decision through trying to make. What? <laughs> Wait. 
recognize which of your strengths or weaknesses support a decision. Yes, you're trying to make. You know what to do. Whatever you decide, you will be supported. I just got you know what to do. Sit down in your thinking chair and think. <laughs> think. Think. Somebody likes Blue's Clues. Somebody in here might have some sort of, you see how we talk about, you know, moderation, discipline. Somebody in here could have some sort of gambling addiction. All right. Or risky behavior. Somebody likes risky behavior. I'm getting your guides are trying to let you know, like. You either have the opportunity to stay or leave a situation behind. This could be a relationship, a job, a mindset, a habit, something like that. You have the opportunity to leave a situation behind, but you actually may be very close to achieving a goal. Time says 1133. Some of you guys could be like, again, if you are an athlete, you may be like considering not continuing what you're doing or giving up on whatever you're pursuing or not going for the scholarship or not trying to take that leap I don't know if it's a relationship you're like maybe I should give up on this relationship or maybe I should give up on this thing I don't know what it is you're trying to give up on but if you still feel like you have energy in you to go after what you want and you're able to discipline yourself in what it is you're trying to achieve for some of you I see that you you would have success in that but it's going to be your choice you also have feathers message Somebody in here could be 54 or 55. It says feathers message. When you ask for guidance, spirit responds without fail. The universe has been sending you messages in reply to your questions, but you have blocked your abilities to notice them. You may have been hoping for guidance for so long that you are focused on the asking rather than the receiving a reply. Ask yourself this. Are you really wanting an answer? If yes, then start to become aware of the replies that come to you from spirit. Keep vigilant, for the answers come in many different forms as an overheard conversation, relevant to your question, as a song playing on the radio, in words spoken by a friend, or in other ways, including the sight of a beautiful feather falling in your path. The incantation of this card says, Upon the wind whispers ride, messages on feathers far fall far and wide excuse me signals come in form and sound i see answers all around the other divinatory meanings of this card it says your prayers are being answered the answers are all around you a past loved one spirit guide even an angel whichever form you are drawn to most has a message for you for your highest good Watch carefully for nature's delivery of messages from the spirit world. So listen, maybe this reading is going to be a message for somebody. Maybe you've recently had a conversation with someone and you were like, wow, I was just talking about that. Or maybe you saw something and it was relevant to whatever it is you've been asking about. A song comes on the radio. Uh, something happens in your life, your day-to-day -day life that reminds you or reassures you of something that you're asking about. Are you paying attention? Your guys want you to know, like, we've been giving you signs. I feel like some of you guys have been asking so much that you're not even paying attention to what the signs are. Some of you guys think the signs are wrong. <laughs> some of y'all are getting signs and you're like, mm, that's not it. Right? For some of you, I'm talking to a divine feminine. I could be talking to a divine masculine too, but I'm getting DF, like divine feminine. All right? You got gamble and message, so GM, which gives me general manager. I'm also getting, what is it, general motors? Something about cars. Somebody could be into cars. I'm getting something here about down pillows, because I'm looking at this feather right here, and I'm like imagining uh, like a pillow fight. <laughs> which is random somebody likes sleepovers or maybe you're the type of kid that has sleepovers but i'm getting down pillows so somebody might like pillows with feathers all right goose feathers things like that a lot of times you can find down pillows in like really fancy hotels so this might be relevant to a hotel 
Some of you could have went to a hotel recently. Or you will be going to a hotel. Okay, like a casino, hotel, something like that. Somebody could be in Vegas. Messages for the collective in this reading. You have your hard work is paying off. Nice, Capricorn. I could be talking to a Capricorn. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. All right, you also have believe in the impossible. Yeah, so somebody in here. Are you like a professional gambler or what do you do? Somebody in here is needing to believe in the impossible. They've been putting in the work into something and I see it working off, working off, working out. You could also be working out. You could be exercising. It says take time to breathe out. Working off. What does that even mean? Adjustments are required. Adjustments are required. What else? Should I just take what's at the bottom? Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. I could be talking to an Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Bottom of that, you got communication is key. All right. You also have confidence is your key to success. Okay, but under this, you have, in reverse, be bold and make the first move. So, some of you guys, don't make any moves just yet. Don't make any moves just yet. Maybe there's somebody that you want to talk to. Maybe somebody's reaching out to you or wants to talk to you. All right, this could be somebody you're dating or working with, or this is somebody you want to work with. Maybe there's a move you're trying to make or something. I don't know. Messages for the collective in this reading. You have conception. Whoa. Conception, the number 16. Somebody could be born on the 16th. Somebody could be a uh, Cancer or a Leo. It says the frequency of conception invites us to bring out, not bring out. <laughs> Why do I keep saying out? Work off, work out. I don't know. Out off. Those things are significant. I don't know. It says the frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. Yeah, so where are you putting your energy? Where are you focusing your energy? What do you want to build? Are you thinking about positive things or negative things? I'm getting like some of you guys need to pay attention to your thoughts. They matter. Messages for the collective in this reading. That wanted to come out, but it kind of came weird. I'm not going to get it. Messages for the collective in this reading. Perception. 35. Somebody in here could be 35. Somebody also could be born in August. So again, Leo, Virgo. It says the frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and to take a good, hard, deep look at it. Hmm, so what is real and what is fake? A couple of minutes ago, I was hearing uh, What You Heard by Sonder. But now I'm hearing when I said that, I'm hearing is you is or is you ain't gonna give me a ride. Is that you with the Lamborghini that's your car parked outside? Somebody in here could, oh yeah, because that's Nelly, it's St. Louis. Somebody you definitely could be from St. Louis. You don't have to be, but also somebody got a Lambo. Mercy, Lago, she go wherever I go. I always channel Mercy. I don't know why that's the thing too. All right, so discernment, <laughs> discernment. The number twenty is here. Somebody could be twenty years old. I'm cracking up. Or somebody could be born on the twentieth. It says or February, Aquarius and Pisces. It says the frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner peace, balance, and detachment, yet with compassion and wisdom. It's so funny because while I was looking at that card. I was thinking, like, what other songs have mercy in it that make me think about, you know, like, how could I change that? I don't know why I got that, because I heard, what did I hear that got me there? What you heard? Oh, I was hearing the Lambo thing. Then I heard mercy, and I was thinking, mercy, mercy, me. Things ain't what they used to be. 
So Marvin Gaye. Somebody could be uh, an Aries. Discernment. You see how you got conception, perception, discernment. Somebody needs to use their discernment when it comes to something that they're trying to build or something that they've already been investing in. A lot of blues. Communication is key. Something about speaking. Maybe some of you guys own something that's related to speaking. All right. Could be a YouTube. Could be a uh, podcast. Also, I was getting, again, remember shaking hands? Somebody's doing a deal of some sort. Like there's a conversation that you're going to have with someone about something. All right, again, could be about this sports thing, this team thing that you're trying to do. You have Miracle 33. This could even be betting on teams. Somebody's like making bets for a team, playing games like that or whatever. I don't know. It says the frequency of miracle supports our belief in ourselves as a part of source and therefore our beliefs that our belief, excuse me, that anything is possible. 33. Somebody could be 33. There's a miracle that's about to happen. Hmm. Maybe some of you don't know that there's a miracle that's going to happen. Like maybe you're giving up on something, but it is going to work out. Fertility. Woo. Could even have to do with kids. Some of you guys could be gambling. Yeah, I was getting pillow fights. Some of you guys could be like trying to make a gamble on like having a kid. I don't know. It says fertility, 27. Somebody could be 27. Somebody could be born on the 27th or somebody is born in September. Could be a Virgo or a Libra. It says the frequency of fertility invites us to be more open, more courageous, more creative, and more joyful, joyful, excuse me, than we were before. It activates the potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness into a new and grander expression of ourselves. So yeah, somebody in here, there's something that is being birthed. A person, a business, an idea that you had. Your guides are saying before you give up, maybe there's a need for you to allow things to change. Some of you are really transitioning into a new phase of your life. I'm also getting something here about snakes. All right. Now, snakes aren't always a negative thing, but snakes may be significant. Somebody could have a snake tattoo. Somebody could be, I mean, if it's a negative thing, somebody could be around a snake. But I'm really getting more so that... Somebody is going through some sort of transformation, transformation, they're shedding one skin and moving into a new one, another one, another one. You want to know what's crazy? I was hearing too, when I was saying miracle, I was thinking beautiful, which is future DJ Khaled and SZA. All right. That song where she's like, she took a flight for the paddock. (laughs) <laughs> or something like that what am i channeling who's in here what the hell this says the frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence in our lives so that we can learn to let go surrender to the process and allow transition to occur with ease and grace who am i talking to she said she took the flight for the paddock you say bae you're so dramatic i guess is that what she said hmm this reading is interesting. Let's get these cards out. We're going straight to the tarot. This reading is a little long. I don't want it to be long. Let's see how short we can make it. <laughs> Let's see how short we can make this. What's the overall energy of this reading? So maybe this is like who you're linking up with. Maybe there's an old friend you're going to meet up with or go somewhere with. All right. I don't know what that's about. What's the overall energy of this reading for the collective in this reading? Hmm, it's a weird way of falling out. I'm going to take them. Ooh, you got the Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. (laughs) What song is that? I don't know how to talk to you. Ooh, somebody is, this might be an ex. The world card. I had that world card up there a little too long. I'm at to cover her up. The world card. Okay, so definitely looking like traveling. This could be somebody you, you're talking to online. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. Mm. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oof. Somebody. You talk about dice gamble. Somebody might be gambling. Somebody could be going to an event. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting like there's an event somewhere. Or somebody's like 
at a casino. <laughs> Somebody went to go travel to go to a casino or something like this. Sagittarius. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Capricorn, all the fixed signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is here. Only air sign out here is Aquarius. Hmm. I don't know if somebody's inviting you to go somewhere or if this is you going somewhere, but for some of you, somebody might reject it. Somebody might be offering you to go somewhere or like... Mm, you got the lovers and the king. Not the king of pentacles, the emperor. This could be an emperor. Ooh, let me cover his body. Or you are this emperor. Somebody's asking you to do some work with them or like travel to see them or work with them on something. But I feel like some of you guys are like, mm. hmm. Or you're taking your time at least. I feel like somebody's trying to take their time when it comes to working with someone or figuring out what they want to do. Okay. For some of you, this person has taken their time when it comes to offering you something. This is somebody that's trying to offer you something. Yeah, look. Is this someone new? Or is this like an old friend? Hmm. What's the energy of the collective in this reading? Knight of Pentacles reverse. Ooh, stagnant. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Something isn't moving forward or something's stuck. All right, this could be the thing that you're trying to figure out whether you should keep investing in. Yes. Scorpio, you could be a Scorpio. You'd be dealing with a Scorpio Taurus Virgo Capricorn. There's something here that you don't want to end. All right. Could be with this emperor. Could be a business. Oof, the lovers again. I can't show y'all that. Gemini, Aries, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody doesn't want something to end. Either a relationship to end, a job to end, uh... I don't know. Somebody's trying to make sure that something doesn't end. So maybe they're trying to like do a, a no, I don't want to say a last ditch effort, but somebody's trying to do something to believe in the impossible. Take time to breathe out. Adjustments are required. Your hard work is paying off. Did somebody ask for assistance and then they got assistance from someone? Or something like that. Why is the death card here in reverse? Somebody's needing to make a decision. If this is your energy, you might have to make a decision. Either on whatever is being offered to you or what you want to do. Death card in reverse. Five of pentacles. The strength card. Yeah. Somebody does not want to either be left out in the cold or to leave someone out. I'm also getting to somebody, <laughs> this is messy. Somebody's like, something about sex. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm getting something here like somebody is like, like they don't, they don't want to, I don't know what this is. Somebody's like, I don't want to keep being left out or something like that. This could be somebody you've never slept with or this is somebody you have slept with and they're like, if it if what it takes for me to sleep with you is us going on doing this thing, whatever they're trying to do, I feel like somebody's doing something glamorous or let me do. You could be a Leo I'm talking to. Leo, somebody could be doing this to you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio. You don't have to be those signs. Yeah, I feel like somebody's like trying to hurry up and come in. Somebody's trying to hurry up and make amends with somebody that, I guess, ended something. You could have ended something abruptly with this person. Yes, y'all ended a relationship. I can't make it up. Some of you were like, I'm done. Some of you ended a relationship or stopped working somewhere. And somebody's trying to come in and... 
revive a situation with you because you are closed off from them. I'm also getting, again, if this is somebody you were sleeping with and you stopped sleeping with them, this person might really be like, okay, I need one more time. Like, and this time we're going to do it big. What in the world? What's the external energy of this reading? Seven of Swords. Mm. What's the external energy of this reading? Justice. Woof. Okay, so if you're the one being offered something, if this energy right here is someone offering you something, Somebody could be offering you something because they're trying to avoid something else. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra. All right. This could even be somebody you're supposed to be divorcing. Somebody that you're supposed to be divorcing. Like if you're trying to leave a relationship, somebody could be coming in and they're like, listen, or I don't know, you might have already divorced this person. Did you get married in Vegas? <laughs> what does somebody do? Like this is cracking me up. Somebody could have, like, tried to get a divorce or something. Or somebody's, like, trying to avoid getting a divorce with you. Or somebody's trying to avoid something. I don't know. Why is the... You could be a Libra. You're dealing with a Libra. I'm getting a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Why are the two of swords here? I'm also getting something legal. Doesn't have to be. Like, somebody's trying to make something work with you. And if it is a divorce thing, it could be because, like, they don't want to divorce and lose all their money all their money from you. All right? Like, somebody's like, listen, what do you need? Before we end this thing completely, what do you need? Like, outside of the money, how can we make this work is what I'm getting. What's the two of swords here? But I feel like it could also be you who's doing this to someone. I really feel like somebody's doing this to somebody is like trying to buy somebody something or do something nice for someone because they're trying to avoid one, another person taking their money two, another person. Uh. I guess, I don't know. One, they're trying to worry about somebody taking money. Two, I'm getting somebody trying to not have, um, what is it? What am I trying to say? Because I'm getting too, like, it really feels like somebody's trying to get, like, a peace, it's a peace offering. Somebody's trying to do something to make somebody feel better. But look. They could even be giving you a gift because you pulled your energy back. But I feel like somebody's like, I am moving away from this burdensome situation. Somebody feels like it is drama. Yes, this could be somebody you like argue with a lot. Maybe there is a lot of sexual tension or something or... But I feel like it's a little toxic. <laughs> it's a little toxic. <laughs> Sagittarius and Capricorn. You could be those signs or these are the people dealing with one another. Like something, something about it's toxic. I don't know what it's about. Somebody's trying to do something to like make somebody stay. Yeah. I'm also getting to somebody trying to do something because they could feel like you're moving on like you have another person you're talking to and they're trying to get your attention before you move on why is this relevant oh this time on this thing is crazy why is this relevant <sighs> strength card heavy on that leo the chariot cancer somebody could be on a leo cancer cusp like somebody is like i have to work with you you are the one that has the the goods like you're the person that has all these good things going for you some of you could be a business owner 
Some of you just know that if you're getting a divorce or something, you're you're going to you're going to be on the good side of this divorce. I'm also getting to there's something here about somebody having a lot of options like some of you that I'm talking to, there's so much going on. This feels like a marriage. Somebody could be married. Somebody could want to get married in Vegas. Okay. I'm hearing Waking Up in Vegas by Katy Perry. What's the challenge here? I feel like somebody's trying to find a way to come your way, to work with you. I don't know whether you already divorced this person. I don't know whether you... Somebody likes uh, head scratches because <laughs> I just kind of scratched my head and it felt real good. Somebody likes head scratches. <laughs> I don't know why that tickles me. What is going on in this reading? What's the challenge here? In reverse, yes or no? I'm not taking it. I just saw the three of cups in reverse. The challenge here is that you're not in connection with this person. Wow. <sighs> For some of you, there could be a third party that's going on in a situation. For others of you, this person has tried to release a third party to come your way. Aries, Gemini, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Maybe relevant. What's the Ace of Swords about? Somebody's trying to come in and, and make a move on somebody because they can see they're moving forward. Yes, yeah, somebody wants to apologize for betraying someone. All right, they could have been including other people in a situation. Maybe somebody's a cheater. Somebody could have been cheating. Yeah. Now they're stressed out because of divorce stuff. I'm also getting too, if this person cheated on you, or even if they didn't cheat on you, if this person went towards someone, it's like, <sighs> I don't know if you have a kid with this person or if this person is trying to have a kid with you. If this is somebody that wanted to have a kid with you or wants to have a kid with you, they may say something like that, like, I always wanted to have a kid with you or like. We were supposed to have a kid. <laughs> like something random. <laughs> or maybe somebody's finding out something about a kid. I don't know. I get the vibe too. Like if someone left another person to be with someone else. I feel like the person they went towards was not it. Not saying that they were a bad person or anything like that. But. What was wrong with the third party? I'm not even looking into that. I don't care about third parties. I don't even want to read this. <laughs> I don't even want to read this. I don't even want to read this. I'm just getting somebody in here is trying to stop an ending from happening. What's the advice? What's the advice? Oh, no. Look, straight to the advice, right? I just saw the devil card. So, yeah, heavy on the Capricorn, heavy on the... Something toxic, addictions possibly. What's the challenge here? What's the challenge here? Look, yeah, the challenge are these reverse cards. The tower in reverse. The queen of pentacles in reverse. What's the challenge here? The four of swords. The six of cups. Hmm. I feel like the challenge here is like, if you're not in contact with this person, you definitely could be this person's ex. If you're not in contact with this person, this person is like, how do I get you to be nice to me again? Or yeah, they're like, how do I heal this situation with you? <laughs> Gotta cover up the star.
somebody's not being as nurturing as they normally usually would be. Okay, like something here about being nurturing. Yeah, I could be talking to a Capricorn or somebody in the mix is not nurturing. Capricorn, uh, Virgo, Gemini, Aries. High Priestess. Some of you, the challenge here is like when you follow your intuition about this person, whoever's coming in to offer you something, this person may know that you're intuitive too. Whoever this person is that's trying to offer you something, I'm getting a strong vibe that some of you already know, like, no. Like, no, I shouldn't be talking to you or no, you're manipulating me or this is manipulative. Like, if you're the one that's closed off to this person, they know why. You know why. I'm also getting something here, too, where, again, this person might be trying to stop you from moving into another relationship. But I kind of get the vibe, like, some of y'all actually do have another person coming in. All right? Like, this could be someone else that's coming in. Some of you could be closed off. Like, you could have an ex and another person. Mm, or this is someone else that feels this way. There could be somebody that has two people. They're confused. That's that third party. Or somebody has an ex that keeps coming back. Like somebody could be trying to make something work with you, but they have an ex that keeps coming back. What's the advice? It's giving Mercury retrograde. We're moving into that right now. So some of you guys, this is a Mercury retrograde read. Oh, the advice, the nine of swords in reverse. A hierophant. Eight of swords. Magician, he, somebody going through it. You might be being told not to let this person put you through it either. Yeah, some of y'all are being told to like ignore this person. I don't know who this is. Because they could be trying to make some sort of deal with you to reconcile. But I feel like somebody, somebody is coming with some drama. Why is this here? Or if not reconcile with you, like somebody could be trying to get married. What's this here? What does this mean? Somebody is stuck in their head. You you are being told to get out of your head. Whoever I'm talking to. Do you keep making something work or not? Hmm. What's the advice here, spirit? Best piece of advice for whoever's watching this. Hmm. Look, two of cups, nine of pentacles. Is that not confusing? How you got the two of cups and the nine of pentacles? Nine of pentacles is a single person. Two of cups is clearly a relationship. Some of you, you're being told to follow your intuition on this thing, on this person, on this offer. I feel like you're going to be fine either way. This is giving me win-win. But I don't know if it's win-win with the person. I feel like it's win-win for you. Like, whether you choose to go towards the new love or be single, you'll be fine. I don't know about the ex, y'all. What about this? Or whoever a past person is, whatever. Yeah, some of you guys are being told to move away. Yes, because when you move away, 
you'll be in alignment with someone you're supposed to be with. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. Somebody's going to reach out and tell you that they're hurt, though. Or something about somebody feeling betrayed. Somebody might be shocked, like, I don't know. Why is the Six of Swords here? Somebody might be shocked to know that you're in a relationship or you're moving towards a relationship or there's someone here that's like, I'm not taking it. One card, one more card for that Six of Swords. Where is the Six of Swords going to with that advice? Woo. Bro, the cards flew crazy. Look, devil in reverse. I feel like you're moving away from toxicity. I feel like if you choose yourself or you choose something new, you move away from toxicity. Yes. Could be from a king of cups in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on the Cancer, Pisces. Who's that person? Somebody's going to be sad about you all. Oh. I feel like you low-key might be sad, too. If you move away from this person, why is this here? I feel like you're moving towards good news. Some of you guys, you could be moving towards a Sag or someone who's different from you. This could be somebody at a distance, somebody that is foreign. Shoot, you could be foreign. But then you got the Temperance and the Ten of Swords. Why that Ten of Swords behind the Temperance? This is somebody that's waiting on the ending. Somebody's waiting for you to get a divorce or to leave somebody behind. Or to like go through some sort of breakup. Somebody's waiting on you. If you are going through some sort of ending or like you're cutting off a toxic ex, your ex keeps coming back. Somebody has an ex that keeps coming back. This could be somebody that like really wants someone for their money or it's like this person isn't like nurturing or kind. Or this is your energy? Are you in this energy? I don't think it's you. There's a third party. And this one did come up as the challenge. There's a third party in the mix that is clinging on to someone. Whether they're clinging on to you or clinging on to the person that you're supposed to be moving towards. Somebody has somebody from their past that keeps coming back. What's their advice with the person that keeps coming back in between? And I feel like some of you are both, like, you could both, you and whoever's in your energy could both be trying to move away from past energies. Be careful what you think about, though. Somebody in here is manifesting stress. More stress than they need to. What about these past people? I don't know. Are y'all, like, bound to these people? Financially? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy. Who is that? Somebody has someone in the wings doing like, mm, it's an ex. I feel like it's somebody's ex. Or somebody that still wants someone's attention. Some of you need to work on cleansing your space and stuff like that or like cutting off old addictions or whatever it is. Because there's something that this past person is keeping you bound by. You know, when you're in a lower vibration, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you're in a lower vibration, you're you're more susceptible to 
uh, manipulation for one, but also uh, spell work. So if people are actually throwing things your way and you don't have to believe in it, you know, it, pr pray all day, you know, cleanse your space how you need to. You'll be fine. Everybody is protected, especially when you are, you know, child of God, you are protected. However, doesn't doesn't uh, hurt to help yourself with some protection, though, protecting yourself a little bit more would benefit you because there is somebody that could be throwing something your way to keep you bound to them. And I feel like they're able to do it because you may have, you may fall into a lower vibration on occasion or just in general. Some of you, if you're still indulging in low vibrational things, you like, you can't help it lower. First off, low vibration can come in many different forms. Doesn't have to be addiction. Some of you, your vibration lowers when you are sad. Somebody in your energy could be trying to keep you sad, keep you addicted to things, keep you. That's what I'm saying. You got this excess trying to keep you stuck. You got something completely new somewhere else and somebody's trying to keep you stuck. One more advice card. Then we'll get some oracles to close out the reading. One more advice card. Temperance in reverse. Oof. I'm hearing that Fantasia song about something about you, you got me waiting. This could be somebody that has you waiting or you're always waiting on this person. This person could have an addiction or they could just be addicted to you. I feel like somebody wants you, wants. <sighs> Somebody's hot headed. You'll know who this ex is because they got a temper. They may have some low vibrational tendencies and they're not trying to work on them this isn't somebody that's working on them this is somebody that like sits in it they're like that's fine like i'm toxic that's fine this person could have betrayed you more than once ten of swords is more than once betrayal whether it's a feminine or a masculine So I feel like some of you need to choose yourself. For some reason, my head started hurting. Somebody, this person gives you a headache. Whoever I'm talking to. They could even be trying to give you a headache as well. Somebody's attacking your crown. Make sure you cover your crown. Fantasia says in that song, she says something like, but you think that you're something like a P-I-M-P. And you can hang in these streets and it'll be all right with me. You got me waiting. You got me waiting on you. Somebody, whoever that ex is, I feel like that person has you waiting. Whoever the new person, if there's somebody new in your energy that you're supposed to be with, this person is not going to have you waiting on them. I'm not saying that they're going to rush you into anything, but they'll know of your value when you meet them. This person is going to be very serious about you. This person is probably going to talk about commitment with you. Not after a long time of waiting for someone to, you know, get it together. I'm getting somebody's going to already have it together, already see your worth. All right. For some of you, kind of how I said that thing about somebody like cleaning up their act to you. I'm getting like some of you are also going to be dealing with someone that may not have like, you know, they may not even be into what you and your ex were super into. You have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into the world and I do so without judgment. Yeah, and you're not going to feel bad for choosing yourself. Somebody's trying to come in and like clear their karma for some reason or like they don't want you to take money through a divorce or they don't want to be left out in the cold or something like that. For some of you, this person does not know their purpose. They don't know where they're headed. They don't know what to do. Okay, this person's like, I see you moving forward. I need your empathy. discipline i can accomplish what i set my mind to what i say 
But I feel like you're disciplined now. Mm -hmm. Regret. I, I know that I cannot change the past. You realize that you cannot change who you were. You cannot change what you did with this person. But you definitely can move forward differently. You definitely can heal. Right? Yes, you definitely can start being around more people you see yourself in pride i love myself and i see myself in everyone that's what i'm saying i could be talking to a literal leo or somebody in here could have leo placements but i feel like somebody's taking on the energy of being like no like i know who i am now i know who i i'm supposed to be around like i'm proud of myself you could be dealing with a leo as well but somebody in here is like i know myself i know my worth i'm ready to move forward mm-hmm envy i'm the same as everybody but with different challenges and i also feel like some of you recognize that we all have issues we all have things we need to work through you would have never been with this ex if you didn't have things you needed to work through or if you weren't on that same vibration at some point in time however i do feel like you're starting to realize that you have to hold yourself accountable for the things that you choose to do the changes you need to make and you either keep blaming your ex for being in this situation or whoever this person is might not even be an ex. Whoever this person is, you could either keep blaming this person for being in their situation or you can choose to leave. And not be a part of it, right? Stay and stuff, stay and suffer or choose to leave. I feel like some of y'all chose yourself. You got guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Yeah, because I, I got the vibe here. It's similar to that last collective reading I did. I get the vibe that somebody in here is very loyal. And maybe you feel bad when you are being challenged in a way where you feel like you're not being loyal to whatever it is you said you wanted or how you felt previously, whatever it is. But I feel like you're choosing to disconnect from something that isn't in alignment with you to go towards something that is so pay attention to what you've previously learned so you don't repeat the same cycle advice or not advice a mantra mantra for the people in this reading i choose love no matter what bottom of the deck i surrender to a power greater than me nice that's all that i have collective i hope this message made sense i hope you enjoyed this reading if you enjoyed it please like comment share and subscribe turn on your notification bells check the description box down below to book a personal reading book a personal reading with me if you need further guidance um i appreciate you <laughs> and i'll talk to you guys later